we'll get back to that Guardian video in a bit. Melting ice caps, raging forest fires, engulfing floods, home damaging hurricanes, climate change. And if you still do not believe in it, here are scientific reasons why it is and that it is very dangerous and life-threatening. Climate change is real because the global temperature is increasing, as well as the amount of extreme weather events and effects involving our oceans. I care about this topic greatly because some of my family members own a farm and it has struggled greatly due to climate change. Uh, and I also want the environment to be safe for the future and having a green world for future generations to come. There are solutions to combating some of the effects of climate change, like the global temperature increasing, extreme weather events and sea issues, and they are effective. Still not convinced? Let's explore some of the effects of climate change. There has been an overall temperature increase in the world. Um, according to NASA, the planet's average surface temperature has risen about 2.12 degrees Fahrenheit or 1.18 degrees Celsius since uh, the late 19th century a change driven largely by increased carbon dioxide emissions into our atmosphere and other human activities. And this also leads into uh, the greenhouse effect. And according to an, the environment.gov, in an article, they discuss how these carbon dioxide emissions um, go into the atmosphere, but because of our layer, we trap it in, keeping the hotness in, keeping the heat in, increasing our overall temperature which is very dangerous, which I'll get to later. Um, not only is the world seeing an increase in overall temperature, but it's facing an increase in extreme weather events as well. And again, from NASA, the number of record high temperature events in the United States has been increasing, while the number of record low temperature events has been decreasing since about 1950. The U.S. has also witnessed increasing numbers of intense rainfall events, um, and this also includes tropical storms, hurricanes, tsunamis, um, and according to the EPA, this is a key indicator of climate change, is seeing an increase in tropical storms. On the flip side, we are also seeing an increase in droughts. Um, and according to the EPA, this is another key indicator of climate change. What can be done to decrease the world temperature and extreme weather events? There are solutions to combating the effects of climate change, and here are some things to do. Firstly, we need to take action. According to an article called Climate Actions, parties um, in the UNFCCC have submitted nationally determined contributions, or NDCs, detailing intended actions to address climate change. As of November 2016, 162 NDCs have been submitted by 198 countries. NDCs includes measures to reduce greenhouse emissions, or mitigation, better manage climate change impacts on a socioeconomic system level and ecosystems, our adaptations, and support national policies and planning, both a mixture of mitigation and adaptations. And this includes covering a wide range of sectors, including energy, agriculture, water, health, and disaster risk management. Uh, additionally, several organizations have been made dedicated to combating climate change, and additionally, there is the idea of blended finance, where in our government institutions, we can better use our finances and funding to better support organizations like these to combat climate change and understand it more, providing more research. Land environments are not the only ones facing effects of climate change. Oceanic environments are struggling as well. Uh, from NASA, since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the acidity of surface ocean waters has increased by about 30%. The ocean has absorbed between 20 and 30% of our total carbon dioxide emissions in recent decades. Additionally, due to the increase in um, overall temperature globally, there has been a sea level rise, and this is due to um, many of our icebergs and Arctic seas um, melting, and additionally, there is a decrease in snow cover due to this, um, as snow from mountains is coming down and getting into our ocean, um, causing several different species to start potentially going extinct, such as the polar bear we saw, saw at the beginning of the video. Now, how will these proposed solutions actually combat climate change itself? 
actions such as keeping the global temperature below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, strengthening countries' abilities to combat climate change, subsiding fossil fuel emissions, and cleaning the ocean will slow down the speed of global warming and the effects of climate change, reducing our overall pollution level and placing the world on a track to recovery. Um, taking action does have great benefits. Um, from WWF, uh, low cost of solar, wind, and battery technologies are, in, are on profitable exponential trajectories that, if sustained, will be enough to half some of the emissions from electricity by the year 2030. Wind and solar energy will now regularly compete fossil fuels in most regions of the world. Electric vehicle growth additionally has the potential to reach about 90% of the market by 2030 if sustained, but only if strong policies support this direction, again, further emphasizing the importance of our governments. While a lot of these solutions can only be put into practice with a lot of money and government agreement, there are simple ways to help out the environment in our everyday lives. From the article, 18 Simple Things You Can Do About Climate Change, there are very simple things that we can do and, if done on a large scale, would greatly help our environment, such as taking a walk to school or riding a bike instead of a car, and conserving and saving our water, using reusable water bottles, um, cutting back on paper towels, and so forth. So that was a lot of information, so let's break it down. We need to direct our attention to combating the effects of climate change, like the global temperature increase and increase in extreme weather and issues that our oceans are facing, from cutting back on water to plastic use and so forth. This needs to be done to save our environment. Now let's go back to that poor polar bear, one that was just firm bone, struggling to walk, struggling to find food, struggling to live. That could easily be any one of us eventually. Now let's combat climate change together and save the world. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope you and I can save the environment together.